Wana. Wana. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, you have to know the book. It's so creepy, so haunted, and that chilling voice, Wana. Oh, it will just terrify you. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Denango, and today we are talking all about the book La Hacienda. The author of the book is Ilabel Canas. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is historical literature, okay? And thriller and suspense. All the things. La Hacienda. So good. So terrifying. <laughs> all right, so let's get into it. There's a woman, Beatrice, who moves into a house and she thinks the house is haunted, but also she could just be lonely because she's separated from her husband. But the house starts talking to her. Not like a creaky floorboard here and there, but like talking to her. And she's like, there's something wrong with the house. She reaches out to a priest to do an exorcism on the house. She doesn't understand why the new housekeepers are looking at her crazy and why they're just all weird. Well, they're used to it being haunted. And they're like, you don't know that it's haunted? And so the priest is a priest, but he's really a witch. So maybe he's a vampire because he's been alive for so long. And it's also a love story. And so they decide that he's not going to leave the priesthood to be with her because he loves being a priest. He's been magical. He's been a witch his entire life. His mother taught him how to cover it up and how to shield it so he wasn't just exposing himself and his magic to everyone. And he's like, this is my life. I'm not giving it up for you, even though you are great. And also the house is haunted and he performs a whole exorcism. And like, you're reading it and the book is so descriptive. Like I could see the pentagram on the floor and I could see the, you can see it as you're reading it you know when she gets thrown into the no I think it's him he gets thrown into the air and like you hear the bones break oh that's what happens with Juan or Ana Luisa I think it's Ana Luisa but like I can see it like the book is so vivid and you can see this gothic dark home and even now my mind is like taking me back there because it was terrifying I could not read this book past like 8 p.m. Like this is not a book that I could read on my way to sleep because I would completely have nightmares, wake up the next day and not be able to read anything. So good. But also, what a lying priest. Like she meets you, she's already married, but she's separated from her husband literally just by distance. And the priest knows everything. And so she's like, you can help me get, you know, like used to the neighborhood and the new community and what's going on. And you're keeping your distance because you actually are a witch that you don't want me to find out about. Like so many layers to the characters. <laughs> a really interesting, very, very interesting book. And I would say that my favorite thing about the book is when she ends up hiding. <laughs> she goes to his quarters to talk to him and then another priest comes in and she has to like hide under the table so they can't see her because you can't have like just a priest and a single woman as in single like her spouse isn't there with her together there will be some kind of controversy to it and it's like he's not thinking about her he's a whole witch he's protecting his whole witchhood whatever his community of witches is he it's so fascinating and it's all centered around this haunted house aka la hacienda fascinating absolutely fascinating okay so if you are looking for a new thriller a different kind of thriller right i spent years not reading suspenseful books because i just wasn't interested and now i am obsessed <laughs> can't read them at night I'm obsessed, all right? So if you're interested in a unrequainted love slash witch slash suspenseful book, check out this one right here, all right? So I also talked about scary books in this other review. Take a look here and let me know what you think about Verity. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>